Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm trying this new thing where I position my camera on my stand and I go live showing you from start to finish um, how I created this look. I always have to try it first because otherwise my anxiety goes through the roof. I posted a picture of some inspirational nails um, that I wanted to recreate, but I know that the ocean is different color blue, so I like to interpret that kind of stuff. So I did add fortune teller um, along with the glitter wannabe, I think it is. Um, I'm going to show you how I did this look. It was simpler than it appears. I'm heading off to Florida for a leadership retreat that is much needed um, as, you know, COVID's kind of put some damper on it. So I'm kind of obsessed and I'm looking at the screen and I'm kind of noticing I have a little bit of OCD when it comes to my nails. I like everything to be perfect. But nonetheless, I love to come on live and just show you how easy it is to recreate, um, either just putting it on standard or trying something cool. The premise behind this is the golden sandy beaches, the beautiful ocean, and then the waves, right? So very cool. So let's get started. I always, um, always, always in between uh, manicures, I love to buff my nails, put some cuticle oil, let them breathe for a day or so, and then I top coat with OPI Nail Envy. It's been a miracle lifesaver. Um, just because I am in the nail industry, I'm always changing and trying new things. I change my nails every four to five days on average, um, but these will last up to 10 to 14 days if you have the patience. I unfortunately lack in that department. <laughs> Um, I will not be reading comments right now, but I will go back. I just really wanted to um, get this demo for you. It's a shot not taken if I don't. So what I'm doing is I'm applying, not applying, I'm wiping my nails clean of all the oils from, you know, putting on makeup, preparing school lunches, and just life in general. So kind of doing that. And that comes in your Color Street nail um, package as well. I love to get these also from Costco, Walmart, wherever you can get them. And I just love to use them a swipe after every layer. So I'll kind of show you how I do that as well. Um, it just kind of sets the nail polish. This is no dry time. However, they do require 10 to 15 minutes of curing. So I just took off the plastic and we're gonna get started. I can kind of talk while I do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the nail polish as close to the cuticle as I can. If I mess up, I just lift up. Don't commit yet until you have it in a perfect position. Okay, so I let it down. And I smush. Okay, don't be scared. This nail polish is very durable. And see how it kind of just goes on? And I'm going to pull and serrate, right? Easy peasy. And it is that easy. It might take a few goes, but, and I'm just kind of putting the extra nail polish right there. I usually use the other side, but in sake of this demo, and see how I'm like wiping? Okay, it's curing. Ooh, so pretty. I love this color. And I know that some of you might be like, ew, Kelly, this totally clashes with your other Manny. And that's your opinion. Um, I love it because, again, I'm artsy and I just know that the ocean has different colors, but you can do whatever you want and that is the beauty of this nail polish. It is art for your nails. So I love this clear glitter overlay. This is no longer available. Um, so when you become a Color Street hoarder, <laughs> right, um, you always wanna stock up on the items that you're obsessed with because once they kinda go away, they don't come back. I personally, love this clear blue overlay. I love blues. I love the beach. So naturally my brain was like, yes, girl, you need all of these. I think it's called wannabe for those of you who are looking in your closet of color street. So very pretty. Um, honestly, if I could go back and maybe I'll try it on my next Manny because summertime is always in California. I might even use this blue to kind of do this nail or this nail um, to give it some more definition or clarity, if you will. All right, now we're gonna get to the fun part, right? How do we make those beaches beaches? <laughs> K 
Caitlin would totally crack. She'd be like, mom joke. She is at school today. Um, so what I do is I cut it right in half, right? Okay. And I had to practice this before I went live with you guys because, you know, I want to make sure that <laughs> I'm not messing it up and I've never done anything like this before. I'm pretty basic and elegant with my nail creations, but I thought, hey, you know what? Florida, here I come. So this is very long. It's going to be too overpowering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it again, right? This nail polish is amazing. Who ever tried to recreate anything with basic B nail polish when you were like in middle school, like try to do dots and try to do nail art? That was me. So, oops, okay, so I didn't set it as properly as I should, even though this is avant-garde, and you can kind of pretty much set it anywhere you want to. Oh yeah, that actually worked out perfectly. So I just smooth it down with my orange stick. Okay, yeah. So we got our part one. Ooh, so beachy. Um, and this set is Gold Coast, I believe. You guys, I'm I'm really good at what I do, but sometimes I forget what the nail shades are. So um, Glitter Sisters, if you're watching, it was that exclusive set from last month. Um, and then I simply took Space Case out of one of my sample thingies. I removed the plastic. And we're gonna do another, actually, you know what? Let's do both the sandy beaches together, okay? Then we can just kind of do one all smooth thing. All right, so again, this is gonna be too big for my middle finger beach, right? So I'm gonna take my little Cricut scissors or whatever, you have sewing scissors at home. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in, I kind of see who's watching, but I can't really respond because I'm so focused. This is like the most artsy nail project I've ever done, but I love it because like it's dry so I can play with it. If the doorbell rang for heaven forbid, I had to use the restroom. I could totally do it. No biggie. Um, that's the kind of the hot topic of Color Street is it's dry nail polish. You think your dry shampoo is badass? Wait till you meet Color Street. Guys, I've been talking about this for four years. Are you ready for me to nail you yet? <laughs> um, okay, so back to this. So I'm gonna kinda actually, I'm gonna pull it from this part just because I want the, the straight side to be my, because if I mess this up, then it's okay. So see, we're on live TV. And, yep, get off. See, now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Here we go. And I have nail polish on, so it's not my nail. All right, here we go. It's gonna happen, you guys. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter if this part's all messed up because I'm not using that part. I am gonna be using the straight edge. So I need to make my beach, beaches. Okay. Here we go. Let me get it closer so you guys can see. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of leave some naked nail in between, cause that's hot, naked. Okay, and then I just smooth it out, right? I pull and tear, okay? Now your beautiful ocean is right there. Easy peasy, you guys with me? Cool? All right, let's just add a little wipe of our thing okay boop, boop. might as well do the other side okay so this part's already cut straight edge this is the easy part boop for the other nail okay and then i'm just gonna however you want there's no wrong answers okay oops little sticky part So when you love what you do, it just shines through, right? No need to be spammy or weird. You guys are probably like, wow, what a bee. She like totally called that girl out. Well, you know what? Y'all were thinking it. I just said it. And honestly, we do people more of a service when we tell them the truth. Like, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and read my post. 
Um, I was very kind about it, as kind as you can be, with somebody that's trying to spammy pammy you. Um, in life, we're just kind of about connections, right? So we're all trying to make a sale. We're all trying to feed our family. I get it. Much respect. But there is a way to do it. And it's not that way. All right, so I have Home Sweet Home. I don't know if this is still in stock. It's just one of my samples I get. <clears throat> and I am going to cut the waves. Here we go. I'm gonna cut it, that one, oops. Cut it. All right, so we're cool. Let's do this. So see how they're like all kind of, oops. There we go. I'm going to save this one for later. It's going to stick there for a second. <clears throat> okay. So this, I don't know the best way to demo this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. How do I do this? I did it on my other hand easy just because it was my non-dominant. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to kind of like lay it across like that because you only want it to be, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I laid it across right there. Okay. And I'm just going to take that off. Sorry, I'll try to do the next one um, with more visibility. So it's right there, right? And then we're going to take this piece, sticking it all that I don't need. This one's the easy part. Okay. Actually, I like it thinner. I like a thin waves. These aren't the crashy, breaky, bad waves. And I'm just gonna lay it across. Kinda. And this stuff moves, so you can totally readjust it if you're like, oh, I don't like that placement, no problem. Okay, and I just put it in there and pick it off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You guys, I am not a patient person. I would never do this, but I had to try because it didn't seem that complicated. I can put stickers <laughs> on my nails, obviously. Okay, so then I have this other one. I probably could have used the other nail because I had enough, but whatever, I'm not. We're just gonna focus on this. So I'm gonna cut the little wave and the big wave. Gonna kind of get rid of that. Okay. Ooh, that part came off perfectly. Okay. So here's the little wave, and this is just gonna go halfway through the nail on the side. So there's no rhyme or reason. Just get it on there. See? Threw it on there. Use your orange stick. They don't include orange sticks in the Color Street packages They um, because, I'm going to tell you why. It's not because they're cheap or they don't love you. It's because once you have an orange stick, it pretty much lasts your entire, <laughs> um, like for a long time. Like you won't need to get a new one unless you lose it for a very long time. Okay. So, see how I'm just kind of manhandling it? It doesn't care. Get it on there. So if they included an orange stick in every single package, that'd be kind of crazy. And we'd have to cut down more trees. <laughs> okay. Do you guys see how I did that? It was pretty cool, right? Like we're talking, did this. I'm always constantly just checking the edges and smoothing it down just because I have long curly hair. And when I wash my hair, I want to make sure that I'm preventing any getting caught. Okay, that was the hard part, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. How are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in. Um, so now I'm going to add these guys. Teal we meet again is our from our fall collection. She is beautiful. I hear the waters of Florida look just like this. I'm so excited. I am a sucker for a beach. And I get to work there, so it's pretty cool. It's a win-win. All right, so I'm gonna get as close to the cuticle as I can. And you just drape it. That's another good word or describing word for this. Okay, and I'm just gonna smoosh. And then I'm gonna push. 
push the cuticle stick into the nail polish and into your cuticle. Now if you wanted to double it, you could, but I don't really want to. I kind of like, um, some of the glitters are thicker, so if you double them, it just becomes too much. It's too tacky for me. Um, but what you can do is you can put our clear as day over, you can put another glitter overlay, or you can use your favorite top coat. I will, after these completely cure within 20 to 30 minutes, um, I will throw another top coat of OPI Nail Envy and it gives me almost like that gel hard effect. All right, we are almost done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching this new way of Manny's. All right, drape it and smush. Drape and smush. Pull and serrate it nicely. Don't pull it off or rip it off. Pull it and serrate it and then kind of gently pull it apart. And see how there's stuff on my cuticles? I just simply get in there and it's like if you were to overpaint your nails, it comes right off. Thank you guys so much for taking time to watch my demo. I am very pleased with this Manny. Again, you might um, have different color choices for your beach Manny. Um, I just love the avant-garde look of having different colors for the ocean because our ocean is full of, you know, whatever. But look how beautiful that is. Like, you would pay a lot more at the salon to get this look. And hey, we nailed it in 10 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, you, yeah, cheesy, cheesy mom jokes. Um, message me with questions and I'd happy to give you a sample or send you a party link to get your order in. Halloween launches tomorrow, tomorrow. All right, you guys, love you. Bye.